How's it going, Jack Attackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for the third episode of Supergirl Season 3, Far From the Tree. A very Martian Manhunter Jean Jones-centric episode, along with a side story, so to speak, with Maggie and Alex, mainly focusing on Maggie and her family and her uh, dad not accepting her because of, you know, her being a lesbian, and it just kind of annoyed me. I was like, dude, screw this guy. We don't need him. And she learns at the end of the episode that she doesn't need him, um, and that she has a family of her own, and that she can take care of herself, and she's not that scary little girl in the picture that her dad gave her. So I like that, and it kind of sucks because I do really like Maggie as a character, and I do like Alex and Maggie's relationships, even though I usually don't like relationships in TV shows or in anything, matter of fact. So I do like them together, um, and I do like Maggie, uh, but as you guys know, they are going to be... I'm, I don't know if it's necessarily kicking her off the show. I don't know the, uh, the entire... I don't know the entire details, but... Basically, she is uh, going to leave, uh, I don't know what episode, but relatively soon-ish. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks because I thought I thought they really structured her well as a character. Um, especially in season two and then going into season three here. I just, I don't know, I enjoy her as a character. And um, it's interesting to see her grow and kind of overcome obstacles. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Her dad's out of the picture. We don't need him, right? Um, I'm going to try to make us feel th sympathetic for him because, oh, I, I work hard, okay? Like, I came to America when I was nine years old all the way from Mexico. And, you know, like, I'm, I, you disappoint me. You disrespect me. Okay, now I'm just coming off as a racist. Uh, I'm not. Anyway. That was the side story. The main chunk of the episode was about Martian Man under John Jones. Um, him and Carr go back to Mars, and they are trying to find the staff um, after Jean gets called up to Mars from uh, Magan. And uh, Jean discovers his dad there, and his dad doesn't believe that he's a green Martian, and he's like, oh, you are like Martian, dude, get out of my way, and he's like, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm your son, dude, and then, he, uh, Jean takes him to the, their house, I guess, uh, and it was really emotional, I don't know, man, I, uh, not gonna lie, I cried, okay, well, I don't wanna say cried, but I shed tears, get over it, it was emotional, I don't really know why I cried, I just, I don't know, it was sad, like the, the flashback with Jean's daughters and uh, and then like when Jean's dad finds out that it really is his son and I was like, mm. I also like the spaceship car. He was like, this is your spaceship? And I'm like, yeah. Uh, and then they take that to Mars and then they had that song going on with the White Martians. It wasn't the most um, exciting or action-packed episode of Supergirl until the end with the, the fight of the White Martians, but... It was still very entertaining, and, um, well, that's kind of contradictory to what I just said. Uh, contradicts everything. No, but I did enjoy this episode, um, and they brought John's, John's dad to Earth, so that should be an interesting story. I don't know what they're gonna do with him, um, but he's just another Green Martian, so we have two Green Martians now. They'll be safe on Earth, hopefully. Hopefully there's not a freaking white Martian invasion, and yeah, that just, that'd not be good, uh, but McGon's staying, well, she is a white Martian, and everyone else there, they're all staying on Mars, um, because they're the non-believer white Martians, they're the more sympathetic out of the bunch, um, so to speak, so, uh, yeah, really good episode, uh, oh, we didn't really focus too much on any of the other characters, like, Rain wasn't it at all, or Sam, I think her human name is, yeah, she uh, she wasn't even in it, her and Ruby. Um, but I am interested because it looks like we are going to get her in next episode a little bit. Next episode looks interesting. We'll talk about it in predictions, but I don't, I don't know what to expect. Should be uh, should be cool. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comments below. Um, did you like this episode? What did you think of having it focused more on 
certain characters than others, because Wynn and even Jimmy were barely in it. And Lena, Lena Luthor wasn't even in it at all. Um, but I'm kind of used to that being a Walking Dead, Game of Thrones fan. They don't show every character in every episode. Um, so I'm kind of used to it. But whatever. Uh, so yeah, let me, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I'm like re-saying everything already. All right. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.